someone here before the video starts and say i'm so sorry about the fan in the background on the first video i did not realize how noisy it was when i started recording and i was just sitting back to the video going what is that noise what is making all that horrible background noise and i realized i had the fan on in the background to keep me cool so I apologize for that. I did not realize it was so loud. So we've got a beautiful humming sound through the first part of the video. <laughs> but um, yeah, it um, is what it is, unfortunately. So yes, but anyway, um, you'll find out towards the end of the video that I'm doing a spring clean because there's things that no longer fit me anymore. Things I don't need, don't bring me joy, don't bring me happiness and um my sons are also going through their stuff so that's the pile that they've already got so it'll all be getting donated and um my pile is already out here getting ready to be donated sorry oh, this is my pile ah oh, so much um but I'll donate it to my local charity so that way somebody else can get use out of it, can get benefit out of it. So yeah, spring cleaning. I love spring cleaning. But anyway, I just want to come on quickly and say sorry about the fan. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll remember next time to turn it off instead of letting it keep going. All right, into the video. Welcome back to my channel. I apologize about the lighting. It is like really, really bad over here. I, maybe because it's the mirror behind me, I'm not too sure. I hope you all had an amazing Christmas, an amazing new year. I hope you um, celebrate it with your loved ones or friends or family, whatever brings you joy and happiness. I hope you had a really, really good time. Um, we didn't do anything for new years because there was no fireworks or anything really planned for where we live so that was kind of a bit of a disappointment but anyway we stayed up and rang in the new year and then went to bed <laughs> that's about as exciting as my life gets um to me it's just a new day it's just yeah to me the days roll into the next into the next so really it was just another day for me it wasn't anything really really special but one day i would like to take the kids down to the city and see the fireworks because they are pretty cool down there so I wanted to show you a few things that I got, um, excuse me, but I don't want this channel to be about, look what I've got, look what I brought, um, look at this new thing that we can, you know, that sort of, I don't, there's nothing wrong with that, um, because I do love spending, mm, I love spending, I am a shopaholic, I just love it, I really do, but um, I don't want this channel to be about that because there is more to life than just what I got, what I got, you know? So as much as I do love spending, I don't want to just be shoving things in your face all the time. I want this to be an uplifting channel. I want it to be an expiring channel, like a warm, comfy blanket, you know, somewhere where you can come and feel really good. I want to share my journey, um, as you probably know, of my own self-healing and my own self-worthiness what I do to bring in the love and joy and really build myself up from being like this to just feeling amazing. Because as you probably know, I've had a lot of self-hatred for years and a lot of just negativity, a lot of negative thoughts, a lot of really horrible patterns that have caused a lot of pain within myself and really kept me small. So. I want to help uplift other people who are in the same position because if I can do it, anybody can do it, you know? It does take time and it does take repetition and there's two steps forward and a thousand back and two steps forward and then 90 back. It does take time, it does take effort, but it is so achievable and it's so empowering and so liberating. So I want to bring that into my channel as well. Mind, body, soul, um, my health, losing weight, turning up, feeling really good, you know, um, all that sort of thing. What I do to, for the whole package, you know, because it's not just about one thing. I, I 
for me it's about everything it's incorporating everything health fitness mind soul everything so yeah <laughs> um I do have my coffee, my Starbucks one. I do need this bad boy. I am a mum of three boys. So I do tend to get a little bit tired. <laughs> but they are pretty amazing kids. I will toot my own horn. They are pretty amazing. So they are not a huge, huge effort. Um, I've been really lucky that way. So they are amazing. So yeah. But trust me, um, like any kid, they can be little turds as well. So they are not little angels. Um, they're not as hard as some kids, but they are no means little angels. So they have their moments like anybody does. We all have our moments. We all have our little, you know. <laughs> but anyway, so I just want to show you a few things that I got. My mum has now retired, so I will be going to see her a lot more, which is amazing. Really excited about that. Um, so these were on special. I was going to get another one, another set that wasn't on special. I saw these and went, thank you very much. They're a real light baby pink and it is absolutely beautiful. I love this little material. Um, they are the guest brand and it's nice and deep. Um, I'm going to leave these in there for moisture. Nice and deep and if you're traveling, it has, <laughs> I know I lost it. <laughs> I have this on the back as well so I got that on special I got this one on special as well this one's a cos no this one's a shell bag yeah shell bag so again in the same color the little logo on the front really cute again I'm gonna leave those little what are these called silica gel so <laughs> do not eat damn um, no, that's funny. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, I'm going to keep those in there again for moisture. So I got that as well. Um, so that will make life a little bit easier. I got this one special as well. It is more of a tanny colour. It does have the big handle, my big strap. But I want to use it more as a clutch bag. So I'm going to keep it inside like this. I still haven't even taken the tags off. It was 150 down to 89, so that wasn't too bad. And with this particular um, place that I get my bags from, I have a lot, like I'm on a loyalty program, so every money that you spend goes towards a voucher every six months, I think it is. So I should get a voucher um, soon. So it gives you, however much you spent, gives you a certain amount of dollars. Um, I think the most I've gotten was 100 and something dollars, so I could, put towards another bag or luggage or whatever it is so that's kind of good incentive I suppose so there was that that I got um, <clears throat> I got myself a new pair of sunnies I got myself some this lighting is so bad I've got a ring light somewhere um, probably should start using it sometimes and I probably should start using my vlogging camera but I'm so lazy because that means I have to get it off of the camera put it to my computer and <sighs> excuses Jack excuses stop using excuses and pull your finger out all right I'm just giving myself a little pep talk I'm so used to um <clears throat> When you don't love yourself for so long, and when you've had no motivation for so long, you've been so stuck for so long, it's easy to fall back into old patterns of, it's too hard, it's too much of an effort. Um, I just wanna get this done quickly, kind of thing. You kind of fall back into old patterns that keep you stuck, that keep you small and unmotivated. So it's, it's retraining the body to take action and then the mind starts taking action so as dr joe says the mind is for knowledge the body is for experiences so you've got to get the body moving for the mind to start taking notice and then the mind goes oh this is how we actually are and then yeah um 
these are the new ones that I got. They've got a slight pinky purple tone to them. These are Michael Kors. I really love Michael Kors sunglasses. I don't know why. I just really like his glasses. So, yeah. I got a pair of those and I lay bought another two pair because I really like them. But I think they'll have to be all for the glasses for a while because that means I'll have four pairs of his then. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm really trying to find motivation in my life to move forward, but we'll get to that in a minute. I'll get sidetracked, so I'll stay <laughs> connected to what I'm doing, so that way I'm not all over the place. Um, I got these from Sarah's Day. No, I got these from White Fox, which is Sarah's Day's collaboration with them. Um, they were sitting in my cart for a while. These went on special, and then like three days later, after I purchased them, she had 15% off. I was like, it's always the way, isn't it? Always the way. <laughs> and then I contacted them, and they're like, yeah. <laughs> just keep an eye out next time. <laughs> but um, she would have sold out really, really quickly with her 15% off, so I am glad I got what I did. Um, so I got these, these ones here. They're like a... Um, can you see the little detail, the little rib detail on them? Now these are really small, like um, tie-dye. Now when I pull these out, I was like, these are not going to fit my chunky monkey body. Like, ain't going to happen, sister. So I was like, okay, these will be a down the track pair because I do love them. Um, when I put them against my body. <laughs> See what I mean? Like they're really, really small. I was like, they, there's no way they're gonna fit. So I thought, fish. I've got to swear then. But and giggles. I thought I'm gonna try them on anyway, and um, I put them on and they fit. I was like, no way. I was like so gobsmacked they fit, and they're so nice. And what I'm trying to do because I have the mum couch here. Like I do have. I don't want to show you my body. But anyway, I do have a bit of weight on me. Um, I, I am a bigger, busted girl, and I do have a bit of weight on me, and I have chicken legs. So, <sighs> anyway, we're not even going there. But I want to tone up, and I want to tone my mum pouch up. And yeah, I don't even know. I'm, going, I'm getting so sidetracked again. But these are really, really pretty. So, I don't know how I went from these are really cool to hey, have a look at my body. <laughs> but anyway. I do want to though down the track when I start toning up more show you a before and after because I'm not ashamed of my body but I don't like showing it as much because you know cameras and that put on make you look so much bigger and I'm already a bit conscious about my weight like I'm not ashamed about it it's given me three beautiful boys but I do want to work on it to make myself feel better it's got you know it's, yeah I just want to I just want to feel good in what I'm, I don't know. I just want to feel good. <laughs> I just want to, you know, be proud of myself, be proud of my body. Um, and at the moment, I'm not really proud of it. Um, I mean, society doesn't help. Society shows us all these size, you know, eight models. And this is what you should look like if you want to be beautiful. And this is what beauty looks like. And this is what success looks like. And this is what, you know, so we all get stuck in that mindset of, We've got to be a certain way to be respected, worthy, um, considered beautiful, considered important. I want to um, up for my own health. It's what it's really about. Um, I don't want to have no energy. I don't want to have health problems. I don't want to be one of these old people that are really, really struggling in their later years. I want to be... Um, healthy so I can live my best life so that's mainly what it's about I don't care what society thinks because it's all a lot of bull um, it's designed to make us feel like crap um, so I'm not going to buy into it um, but yeah I want to eat healthy tone up exercise for my own health to feel good so I keep getting really sidetracked I'm really sorry um, I got these as well from Sarah's Day, these little shorts. They're really, really cute. A little detail on the front there. Again, a nice soft tie-dye colour. It's really, really gorgeous. 
I am a size 14-ish in bottoms. I am about a size 18 in the top because I am bigger in my top half. So I got a large in those and they feel really, really good. And then, and those other pair were a large as well. And then for this hoodie, 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 hoodie. I'll probably only wear it for like two seconds here in where I am because it gets so hot <laughs> I'm taking it off. Um, there was just a noise behind me. And so I got this one as well. In the tie-dyed. I got that in an extra large just to give me some a little bit extra room. Then I went to my, actually I ordered this online. Um, I, I always say that, um, I don't know why, it's really weird. I got some stuff from Lorna Jane. She does um, exercise gear here in Australia. Uh, she has branched out to America, I think. These are just some tracky dacks. I like this sort of material. I don't really like fleecy because it's humid here and I tend to get zapped when I wear fleece and it is not a nice feeling, I tell you. My kids go down the slides and they rub their hands on the slide to create static and then try and zap you. It's not fun. I was um, playing on the pokies one time here and I went to put a, a dollar coin in and the machine was like here and the coin was here and there was so much static you could see the blue of the static in my hand went and the coin went flying. It was like that was that was the most worst feeling ever. It was the biggest zap I had ever had and the biggest line of static from the machine to the coin ever. After that, I refused to put coins in that damn machine. It was all notes, because I was not having that happen again. It was horrible. My little detail there. Getting zapped is the worst feeling. It is absolutely, oh, it's horrible. I do not like it at all. <laughs> I got this really cute crop um, shirt as well. It's got a really cute detail here at the front, like a little um, tie. It's a really gorgeous plum colour and it's got the long sleeves as well. So that's really beautiful. And then I got these toweling shorts. A really beautiful coral as well. So I got those. And so I got those in a large, so I would normally get her bottoms in a large and again her tops in the extra large. This one was a large because they had sold out of the extra larges, but I really loved the colour and the detail and I was like, you know what, it's all about my health this shit, it's all about toning up, feeling good, shrinking these bad boys, so I'll be able to fit into it, so yeah. Um, when I started my health journey a long time ago, after I had my second son in 2009, I lost a lot of weight. I got down to a size 14 and it was amazing. But because I was in that mindset of you're not good enough, you're a piece of crap, you're unworthy, um, you don't deserve anything amazing in life, my mind started taking over again and I stopped exercising, I stopped eating healthy, I stopped moving my body and I piled it back on and it was, yeah, the worst. So now I'm back to starting all over again. But this time it should be different because I'm working on my mindset as well. So I'm not going to fall into that trap of um, past experiences dictating my future. So yeah, this is a really beautiful light pink and... It's got that gorgeous detail there. What does it say? It says, Lorna Jane, never give up. There you go. Never give up, ladies. Never give up, men. Keep pushing. Keep pursuing. Because we all have our own past in life and we are all as important as the next person. No one is less important. So, I think that's everything except for this, a bad boy. This I got from... Freedom Mastery. It's a 2021 planner. 
but it's a Law of Attraction Manifestation Planner as well. So I thought I'd give this a go. It comes with some stickers and stuff like that. Um, it has in here, you know, important like questions that you can answer. Mine are all the same because um, I'm still figuring a lot of stuff out. I kind of know what I want to do with my life. How I'm going to do that's another question. But the more I work on my mindset, my health, my confidence, things like that, the more I meditate, do things I love, the more little bits will drop in and the more everything will make sense. And then eventually, I'm hoping by the end of 2021, I'll already be doing what it is I'm meant to be doing. So yeah, and then it has goals in here as well. So your goals, um, why you want to achieve your goals. Oh, sorry, my nose is running. Um, yeah, and of course your, you know, diary as well. Then it's got create your life statement. So I've started filling it out slowly. Um, these questions that I answered in the, at the beginning, like they're pretty basic, they're the same kind of stuff. I just want to be happy, I just want to be joyful, I just want to laugh and enjoy life and da 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 There's no specifics in there because of what I just said before. So I want to revisit these questions later and see how much they've changed. So I got that and I think I got the rose gold. You can get other colors as well, which are really beautiful. So yeah, this year is um, for me, not putting so much stock in other people's opinions, um, living life for myself, stop worrying about what other people may or may not think stop worrying about if this dream is important if it's going because for me I know I want to be abundant I know I want to have enough money where I don't ever have to worry again and then my mind starts coming in but there's people out there struggling but there's people out there with nothing but there's people out there with blah, 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 blah. and my mind just goes and goes and goes and then I'm like oh maybe that that wish or that dream or that manifestation is really selfish mm. You know, so it kind of, your mind comes in because it's so used to being that way that it kind of makes you second guess and you're like, oh, okay. But <clears throat> this is where I'm taking back control this year of my mind because my desires are my desires and they're not wrong at all. They might not suit you or they might not suit that person over there, but they, they suit me. And if I, at the end of the day, are happy with that, then that's fine. Um, I can't worry about every single person in the world who I don't even know um, because they're not worrying about me. So why should I be you know, worrying about someone that I don't even know's opinion? And also, the more I have, the more I'm able to give back, the more I can try and make a difference. And that, you know, to me is beautiful as well. So. not living my life on people's opinions who are across the other side of the world you know what i mean um same with people here if you don't want to put the effort in i'm not going to put the effort in if you're not going to give me the second thought i'm not going to give you a second thought i'm not putting energy into situations that no longer serve me um that don't make me feel good that don't build me up that make me feel less than what i deserve so that's another thing I'm going to do. The second thing I'm going to do is um, I want to get all my finances caught up on. I want to get ahead. I want to start getting money put aside um, so that I can start investing in myself. So I want to invest in a coach um, to help me figure out my life's purpose and how I can get that going, how I can build the confidence up to talk about what I'm here to talk about. I have noticed that the more that I'm feeling better, the more confidence I do have in talking. Um, so I want to invest in things that are going to raise my future. Um, I want to stop buying stuff like this, even though I love, love, love shopping. For the moment, I'm going to put it on the back burner so I can build up my finances, so I can invest in my future. I would love a jewelry line. I think that would be amazing. I love jewelry and I've never been able to afford it. So um, I think that would be something that would be really amazing for me. So I'm gonna look into that. 
Um, what other goals have I got for this year? My health is another goal that I'm going to be continuing working on. Continue eating healthy, continuing to move my body, um, manifesting. So affirmations, I'm going to continue with my affirmations because if you have noticed that we create our life by continuing to say the same thing over and over again. Oh, this day crap. Oh, this day can get any worse. Oh, this, oh, that, oh, you know what I mean? And the more we say it, the more our mind goes, okay, this is real. The body's reacting to it. It must be real. So then you start getting the same um, experiences in. So I'm going to, and that's how our reality is created by the constant affirming, affirming, affirming in our minds, which creates an assumption which then creates our reality. And when the body's reacting to that thought, um, so yeah, so I'm gonna start affirming really beautiful, positive things. So yeah, um, what's another goal that I want? My main goals are those, finances, health, mindset, feeling good, raising my vibration, um, just feeling really amazing. So yeah. Um, I think that's all. I'm going to go finish my coffee. I'll probably come back on later. I do want to do a um, a spring clean of the house. Go through my clothes, go through the kids' clothes, get rid of things that no longer serve us or don't bring us joy or are too small or too big, whatever it may be. So I do want to do a spring clean. I love spring cleaning. Um, yeah, so I might finish my coffee. And then I'm like, go have a shower and get ready to crawl into bed and relax. Um, yeah, I mean, that's all. So I really hope you had an amazing New Year's and you have an amazing Christmas. Um, I hope all your manifestations come into reality this year. Um, yeah. I'm rambling. I always, when I <laughs> get to the end of talking, I kind of don't want to go, but then I start rambling and it's kind of like, just shut up and go. <laughs> so, I'm going to take heed of that and I'm going to shut up and go. Um, but I'll be back on later, <laughs> I promise. So I've just had a shower and oh my goodness, it was so amazing. I love warm showers, especially when your skin's like really, really cold. You jump into a nice warm shower. It is the best feeling ever. So my hair's up. I'm about to use, um, it's not really a good skincare regime, but I used to have a huge clump of freckles right here and I hated them. Someone wants to say hello. So, hey, <laughs> he's eating a banana. Yeah, was it good? Yeah, yum, yum. Oh, thank you, beautiful. Hey, <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. I've done it. Why have you done it? You are. Yeah. Yeah, you're so clever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Your curly hair. <laughs> Dad work. Yeah, daddy's at work. So I used to have a huge clump of freckles right here and I've never liked my freckles because um, I got picked on them a lot. So I have a lot of insecurities that, as you know, I'm working on. Um, so I, a long time ago, used this Super Fade John Plunkett, John Plunkett's Super Fade. This oh, is wow. the accelerator. My teeth. That's your toothbrush. They can't see you. They can only see the top of your head. Oh. <laughs> and this is the cream and it works wonders it, um, oh, yeah, it mom. helps fade oh, the oh, freckles oh, and yeah, brown blemishes and um, some spots that and stuff mom. like that it is, that's my Too Faced Diamond Light good job um, and it really really works so I'm using it again just to get a few more off and I'm using it on my arms just to reduce a little bit of color on my arms. Now, some people love their freckles and I just think that's absolutely amazing. Um, but for me, 
I think there's such an insecurity because I was picked on for so long. Now I should just embrace them and love them. And that's all fine and dandy, but I do just want to strip just a little bit of the color away. Just so they're not so, oh, careful. So they're not so kind of thing. Um, so I do that. I did want to show you some things I got um, at Christmas that I have never brought before. Um, what I'm really excited about. So when um, Mecca, that's Tic Tacs. When Mecca reduced the some of their um, Christmas range from Too Faced, I went and got it. So I got the pumpkin one. Um, I haven't undone them yet. That one I haven't undone yet. I got oh. this limited edition one. ball game. Yeah. So this one oh, is really, really beautiful. I actually want oh. to make that setting spray. Oh, babe. Oh, hang on. Um, I want to hire someone to help me learn how to apply it properly. This smells so yummy. It's got a hint of cinnamon. It's really, really Ow. nice as well um so we got that and it comes with this cute little bag all right yes we got some setting spray yep good job Beach. spray 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 okay <laughs> good job then we got these two here these two palettes oh. and this one here I'm not going to open them because um, you'll probably that's see them on other people's, maybe, I don't know. If you want me to open them, that's perfume, no spray it. No. If you do want me to open them, just let me know and I'll open them and show you guys. Look, 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 my dog. Oh, your turn? Yep. Hi, my dog. That's Christine Aguilera's perfume. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Can you back where you got it from? I got this perfume as well. Um... Jimmy Choo, I think it is. Oh my. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy Choo. Oh my goodness, this is my new favorite. I absolutely love this. It smells so divine. I think out of all my perfumes that I've got, and Christina Aguilera's one that you was just showing, has been my favorite for a long time. But this one. I got my don. This one's really nice. My, my right. donna. Last one. Hang on. Right, show. Uh, my dad bum. That one is Bella Beauty. Bella Beautiful. Mama. Okay, I'll put it back. I don't want you to drop it. Why? Because I stay. My bae. Um, so, oh, sorry, darling. So, it's not really a skin routine. Um, I just wanted to show you. Just wanted to show you what I use in case someone's got age spots or they want to um, help reduce the blemishes on their skin. <gasps> This stuff really, really works. I am, um, it's just amazing. It really is. It really does reduce the um, the color and, and whatnot of your blemishes. It's amazing. So, yeah. Um, I also want to learn to loosen up a bit more in my videos. I tend to hold back a lot because I'm like, what are people going to think? Are they going to like my voice? Are they going to like my body? Are they going to like this? Are they going to like that? My mind goes into overdrive so i kind of hold back a little bit but i want to let more of that goofy side come through and that that um craziness that <laughs> yeah my kids are like mom you're embarrassing um oh more of the fun side come through yeah. is what i really want to bring through so yeah and i put it back that's oh. oscar i don't know that one something oscar Um, I got that for my followers. Oh, so, yeah, I just want to let more of that side come through and, um, yeah, just be, like, more comfortable in front of the camera and just, you know, try not to worry so much. Try not to overthink. So, yeah. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. You can't pick it off. Why? It's like a skin. You just can't pick <laughs> I got a little skin tag on here. I'm just trying to pick off. <laughs> um yeah i just want to get more comfortable and just yeah really build this up to be something that i'm really really proud of and yeah so i'm going to do a spring clean as well i can't remember if i said this beforehand or not if i did i'm saying it again 
I'm giving my house a spring clean, out with the old, in with the new kind of thing. I love to do a spring clean really, really often, um, especially for things that no longer serve me, um, that are no longer any good. Um, yeah, so I've been through my clothes already. I've yeah. um, gone through yeah. those. I've got really no, wait, of those. Don't. My <laughs> other son's gone through his clothes. Yeah. He got rid of a lot that don't fit him anymore, that are just too small. Well, they fit him, but you're right. <laughs> they fit him, but they're just too short on him now because he hasn't really yeah. no, but bulked up, but he's grown taller. So, <laughs> yeah, so. Um, they're my mum. Yeah, beautiful. So, yeah, we're going to do a spring clean. Yeah. And we're going to go visit Nanny. We're going to go visit the pirate ship. Trying to do something over these school holidays. My pie is here. Yeah. Ah, horror, me, me. Ah. Ha! Did you just burn? Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't sure that was a bear for a fart. <laughs> ah. Yeah. My boy, gang. Yeah. So, yeah, I just want to let more yeah. of my no sun sign shine through and not worry so much. Um, so, yeah. Let me know if there's any videos you want me to do, um, any suggestions. I'm not really a clean with you kind of person because I ain't a very, I don't like cleaning. Like that is one of my, if I could do anything else. That my well, toupee. I will choose to do it. I that hate cleaning, but I love a clean house. So. That mom, that my yeah, toupee. Um, and I love, people love to film those. Mom, that my toupee. Know, maybe one day I'll give it a go. I don't know. I'm that not, yeah. That's Blaine's toothpaste. Aww. So, yeah. Um, I am going to end it here. And, um, yeah. We went back and got my um, pedicure oh. there again today, which was really nice. I got a more brighter colour this time instead of so dull. So, that was nice. Yeah, pretty pink. Yeah, pink, pink. So, that was nice. I'm going to go and put this stuff on my face. Um... Okay. And yeah. Bye coffee. <laughs> so um I hope you like this video and <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I know in my heart that the more oh. I do this the more confident I'm going to get. And yeah, yeah, I'm gonna stop talking now. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna see you that. Okay. Um please like and subscribe. Yeah. Bye, guys. <laughs> and Bye. until next time. Next time. Okay, you don't have to yell. Bye. Bye.